Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try these Philadelphia original mashed potatoes. These are new. Um, we got these at Meyer. They were $3.99 over where the, the prepared meals are like the uh, the um, macaroni and cheese from like Bob Evans, that kind of stuff. It was in the refrigerator section. So this is refrigerated, not frozen. Um, again, this is the original mashed potatoes. These are not the flavored ones. Um, and no artificial flavors or dyes made with real Philadelphia cream cheese. And again, Philadelphia is known for their cream cheese. Ready in seven minutes. Wow, oh. sorry. Um, two thirds of a cup, and there was about four servings of the container, are 250 calories. So if you do your math really quick, that's right about a thousand calories if you eat all of it. There's no way I'm going to eat all of this anyway. Uh, probably, probably lucky if I, I won't even get half of this. So, so anyway. I know this is really a side that you put with something, but I'm just going to eat it by itself. So here's the other information. Um, sodium, man, if you figure that, that if you eat the whole thing, you're getting over 2,000 milligrams of sodium. Uh, 2,120, I think. That's quite a bit of sodium. So way over your day. Um, we'll write out your daily dosage. So what you do is you remove it from the cardboard sleeve, which I did. You're going to peel back the corner to vent. You're going to microwave it high for two minutes, stir it up, replace the film and microwave for another two minutes, and then let it sit un, uh, let it sit covered in the microwave for two to three minutes to, to I guess, to let it finish cooking. And then um, make sure you stir it up before you uh, serve it. So it says, um, let stand to cool. Tray and contents will be very hot. Use both hands, avoid burns. Um, Philadelphia cream cheese always starts with fresh milk and goes to from farm to our creamery fridge in six days. Um, so it's supposed to be pretty fresh. So anyway, this is what it looks like. Um, big old tray of macaron oh, mashed potatoes. So I'm gonna pull off, I guess it really doesn't matter which side I pull off. So I'm gonna pull up a corner. This one, this one looks good. To vent it. There we go. And I'm gonna get it in the microwave and I'll be back. All right, here it is out of the microwave and I have not started up that that second time, you know, I stirred it up once and let it set, but and microwaved again and let it set. It feels a little thick and uh, pasty feeling. I do have to say that when you first stir it up that first time in the microwave after the first two minutes, you have to kind of stir from the in, the outside in because the outside has like this really liquidy part and the center has a really thick part. So what I did was I, I kind of did like this and worked the outside to the inside and that seemed to work pretty good. So. So anyway, so I'm going to let this cool off because it's super, super hot. You know, potatoes really hold heat. Uh, bad thing is they, they hold heat for a while, but when they get cold, boy, they get cold. So I'm going to let this cool off for just a little bit, and then I'll be back. Hey, it's had time to cool off, so here's the bite I'm going to take. Ooh, close up. Um, I have blown up, so it's not too awfully hot. Hmm. The flavor, it's not bad, it's just different. I've never had mashed potatoes with cream cheese in them before. I have with sour cream, but not cream cheese. The texture is better than I thought it would be. I thought it would be really pasty just from stirring it up, but it's not. Um, the flavor though, it's different. It, it It's not bad, it's just different. It's something I would have to um, not get used to really, but just something I would, just have to know it's a little different and, and be done with it. I like it. I like them a lot. No, well, I don't like them a lot, but I like them. I like them enough to, to eat them, but um, I don't like them necessarily enough to, to say, I'm going to buy these for every mashed potato meal I ever want. They are really good though. I do recommend um, that you don't eat these all by yourself, by, by itself, that you have this as a side with something else. Like if you wanted to go to that same section, um, they usually have uh, pulled pork, they have ribs, they have um, pork roast, beef roast, they have all kinds of different meat items too. You could split these two things, get the mashed potatoes and get the um, some kind of meat meal and split those between four people and have a really good meal. I mean, it would be a, an excellent meal. The flavor of these are really good. Um, like I said, I really wouldn't eat them by itself. It's really kind of, they would get monotonous after a while. I'm doing it just to let you know what they taste like. But... Um, I'm going to give it a four. It actually has a good flavor. It's different, like I said, but it, but it is a good flavor. Mix this with a side with something else. I think you'd be really impressed with it. So I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.